Hello and welcome to the Forstronics video blog. Uh, my name is Neil and in this project we'll be building a smart thermostat. Since this is a big project, I'm going to break it up into three videos. In this first video, we'll just be putting together the capabilities of a general digital thermostat and prototyping it together to get it working. From there, in later parts, we'll add some customized features, uh, we'll add some power saving features, and we'll also add the wireless capability that we can control from an Android device. So let's get started with part one. Let's start with how a thermostat works. So if you look at the picture, the vertical gray line represents your wall. On one side of the wall, you have where your thermostat goes. On the other side of the wall, you have your heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system or HVAC system. So you can see in the picture, you see a transformer that's taking 125 volts, excuse me, 120 volts AC and converts it to 24 volts AC. Now, these voltage levels may vary depending where in the world you are, uh, but that 24 volt AC is used to power and control as a control signal for your fan system, your cool system, and your heat system. So all a thermostat does is it sits on the wall, it monitors the temperature, it uses the temperature and the settings you create to switch that 24 volt AC signal to the fan, to the cool, to the heat, whatever is necessary based on the setting and the temperature. If you look at the letters R, G, Y, and W by the, the wiring for the cool heat and fan system as well as the, the 24 volt signal, these are standard letters or labels used in the US. Now, these might vary a bit based on how your system or your home is configured. For instance, you might not have a AC or you may have two levels of cooling and two levels of heat. So you might have a Y1, a Y2, a W1, a W2. In other parts of the world, it may be different. I don't know. These questions can be easily answered if you just do some searches on Google. Okay, now that we know the basics about how a thermostat works, Let's get into the parts list. The brain that's going to be controlling everything is going to be the Arduino Uno. Then for uh, the way I'm going to enter my temperatures and change my settings, I'm using the Adafruit Trellis. So Adafruit is a company electronics supplier that specializes in, in do-it-yourself electronics. They created this Trellis, which is a keypad. We'll see it later. It's an open source keypad. So it has a cool look and I found it easy to use and it wasn't that expensive so I, I went with that. For my display, to display my temperature and my settings, I used an LCD display. And then finally the temperature sensor, I wanted to get a fairly accurate temperature. So I went with the MCP97808 and that's also from Adafruit. Now you can get cheaper temperature sensors. I went for this one because it's accurate. And also what's nice, it has a I squared C interface. So, you know, you don't have to do any conversions or math. It just allows you to ask for the temperature and you get it. The next main part is the switches. So we're going to switch that AC signal to either our heat or cool or fan or even our cool and our fan at the same time. I didn't want any moving parts, so I didn't want to use uh, a mechanical relay. So I wanted to go with solid state. And since I'm switching AC and not DC, I can't use a transistor or a simple MOSFET. Uh, so what I did is I used a something from the thyristor family, which is known as a triac. And because of that, I also had to use an opto isolator to isolate my DC from my AC. And then I had to use some resistors. And those parts are going to be multiplied by three because I need three switches for each major section of my HVAC system. And then, of course, I have some breadboards and some general wiring. OK, here is the schematic of all the parts put together. So if you notice on the right, you're going to see the same diagram of the HVAC system. And on the left, you're going to see the thermostat design. Starting from left to right, we have our temperature sensor and we have the Adafruit trellis. Now those both use I squared C for communication. So they're both connected to a lot of the same pins. The LCD display uses SPI or SPI for communication. What's nice is for all three of these things that I just mentioned, 
uh, Adafruit provides a library which made getting started with it much easier. The switches are just simplified diagrams of the triac and the optocoupler. So you can see they have a digital control pin, that's what the DC means, not DC voltage, digital control pin. And they have 5 volts coming from the Arduino. They also have the 24 volts AC coming in. And what they're doing is when they close, they're routing that 24 volts AC to the appropriate system, whether it be the fan, the cool, or the heat system. Now here's a diagram of each switch, uh, the schematic of the opto isolator along with the resistors and the triac. The load of course is the system, whether it's the cool system or the heat system. Now I have a tutorial or Fortronics uh, blog video on this topic, so I'm not going to go into too much detail on how things work. Feel free to check that out in more detail. The links are right there on the bottom. So let's take a quick look at the Arduino code. Now we're not going to be able to go through all the code because it, there's a lot of code. So you can see at the top we have a lot of our libraries. A lot of them are Adafruit libraries for accessing our trellis keyboard or our display or the temperature sensor. A lot of global variables because there's a lot of settings uh, to track here. We have our setup code here where we initialize everything. And then our loop. Our loop code is fairly simple, but there's a lot of functions that are, that are called as, as a result of the loop code. The thermostat has two main modes. One is normal mode and one is set mode. And here in this if else statement, you can see, well, first you can see in this if statement, we check if a keypad uh, button was pressed, then we get that button. Then depending on the state of that, we execute some kind of function. So in normal mode, that's when the thermostat is displaying the temperature. That's when you can turn on or off the cool or the heat or the fan. And it gives you the status of the heat or the fan, the setting of it, and, it, and of course the temperature. Now when you go into set mode, set mode you press a button to enter this mode and you're in this mode to set the temperature value of the heat or the cool. So that's the only time you're in set mode and then once you set that, you can exit out of there. If we go down here, what we do is every three seconds I get the temperature and and when I grab the temperature I then check it if the heat or the cool is on and I compare the, the temperature to the setting for heat or cool and if I'm below or above a certain value I'll turn my system on so that's just a quick look at the code here's our whole prototype of our design put together it's connected to the interface of the HVAC system in my condo. We can see the R, the G, the Y1, the W1. The wires going down to the triac switches. You can see the Arduino Uno. We can see the temperature sensor. We can see the display. And then we can see the trellis. I'm going to stop it there real quick. Let me go back a tiny bit. Here's the layout for the trellis because right now I have no markings on it and it looks a little funky. Here's the layout of the trellis. You can see we have the numbers, we have some arrows, we have a set button for setting the heat or the cool value. The set button is what takes us in and out of set mode. And then we have our heat, cool, and our fan buttons. Okay, and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to set the AC to a value and then I'm going to turn it on. So right now we're at 77.6. I'm now in set mode. It's set for 80 degrees. I'm going to set that for 75 degrees Fahrenheit and then I'm going to enter it and go back into normal mode. I'm then going to turn the cool on because right now it's off. So I'm going to turn it on and there you can hear my AC kick on. So there's a quick demonstration of it. Now keep in mind this is prototype form. The display is a little rudimentary. I'm going to clean it up a little bit better in a future version, but this is a working version that I've tested of the basic functionalities of a thermostat. Well, that's it for part one. In part one, we just looked at the basic prototype of our thermostat project. In part two, we're going to be cleaning it up. We're going to be mounting it and adding some more features. Part three, we're going to add wireless control capability with an Android device. If you're looking at this on my YouTube channel, you can get the schematics at the blog. You can see the link there. If you want the code for the Arduino, uh, it's all labeled 
or when I say it's all labeled, it's all commented. Uh, you can access it at GitHub using this link. You can also find the link on YouTube or my blog. You can find more Forstronics content on the blog or my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, you can email me. Stay tuned for part two. Thanks for watching.